Hi, my name is Anthony. And my name is Samantha. Today we're going to show you how to make your own walking ants. What you need to make your walking ants is the template, which is two pages, a lollipop stick, although it's not too important that you have one of those, a glue stick, or sellotape or stapler. If you're using a stapler, be careful and ask an adult for help. Scissors and a pen for the eyes and mouth. First, I'm going to cut my template out. Now, I have my six legs, my two antenna and my other body parts here. Two of my pieces are the same size. One of these is going to be for the thorax and the other is going to go underneath your walking ant. The big part here is for the abdomen and the smaller one is for the head. So first, I'm going to put my legs and my antenna to one side and I'm going to glue my other body parts. To glue these, I'm folding them back on themselves and I'm going to break our golden rule of gluing. I'm going to put the glue on what I'm sticking, but also what I'm sticking to it, which I know normally I say not to do, but we're doing that today because it's not a jotter that we're going to close, so that's okay. So I'm putting my glue on here, but also on what I'm sticking down to, so that when I roll it together, the glue meets up on the paper and I can stick it down. I'm going to do this for all three of the body parts but leave one of my two pieces that is the same size unrolled. Make sure when you're lining them up that the edges line up too so you don't get squint body parts like this so now I have my head my thorax and my abdomen and this to stick them all to and again I'm going to put my glue on where I'm sticking it and what I'm sticking down to it so first abdomen, then in the middle, the thorax, and at the front, the head. And just make sure you push down on all the parts that you've glued so they stick really well. If you want to make it extra secure, you can add a little bit of glue Routine the body part. Next, I'm going to stick on my legs. I have six of these and three are going on each side. I'm sticking my legs to the bottom, unlined with the thorax. Once you have your legs stuck on, you can fold in the middle and then fold little feet. So I'm going to do this just by putting a fold in the middle of the leg and about two fingers before the end, I'm going to fold it the other way. Try not to rip your ant's legs off. And that gives me a leg. I'm going to do that to all the legs on the ant. Then, on the head, I'm going to stick my two antenna on. Try to have them coming from the middle of the head so that you can fold them up and back down again. Then, my aunt needs a face. And of 
course he needs a big smile. Finally, I'm going to stick a lollipop stick to the bottom of my ad so I can make him walk. This needs lots of glue on the lollipop stick and on the bottom of the ant. And then on the bottom of my ant, right under the abdomen. Then press it on. And then before you get your ant to walk or you play with him, give him a chance to dry so that everything sticks in place. 